But not everyone was out shopping and looking for deals this Black Friday. Some were protesting about Walmart and the wages the world's largest retailer pays its employees. Eamon Jabbers was there. It's become the new Black Friday tradition. Union organized protests at Walmarts across the country to spur the giant retailer to boost pay for its associates. These protesters are walking from Capitol Hill over to the brand new Walmart here in Washington, D.C. And what they say they want are $15 an hour wages for the workers at Walmart. And they want more flexibility for the ability of the workers there to get a full 40 hour work week. A lot of the workers there, these guys say, aren't able to get enough hours in the week to have a real sustainable job and provide for their families. We met up with Melinda Gano, a D.C. resident who says her $9.90 hourly wage is not enough to keep her from being forced to collect federal food benefits to feed her family. I do depend on the government. I still yeah, I receive Medicaid and I also receive SNAP. But inside the store, other Walmart workers were getting on with the annual Black Friday sales and Walmart arranged for us to speak with a store manager, Ernest Reed. I make a pretty good wage. As far as I'm concerned, I make a livable wage. Walmart has afforded me the opportunity to make a livable wage. There are so many benefits for Walmart. In a statement, Walmart dismissed today's protests, saying perception is never reality with labor unions. The crowds are made up of paid union demonstrators, and they are not representative of our 1.3 million associates across the country. Union organizers today targeted the Walton family, which owns Walmart, saying the family is patting its $150 billion fortune on the backs of the majority of Walmart workers who make less than $25,000 a year. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in Washington.